we send blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions for indeed he was the one whom Allah chose in order to carry the message such that it got to us. And what do we learn from that? Imagine when Allah chooses someone to, to use him to bring the message to you and he is a messenger. Allah gave him so much of value that it is an insult to say his name without saying sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or may peace be upon him after saying that name. He says himself, anyone who hears my name does not say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They are at a loss. They are at a loss. Why? Acknowledge the favor of Allah upon someone whom Allah has favored. It's part of your faith. And say Alhamdulillah. The companions, they were not prophets of Allah. They were companions. They were chosen on a different level. The one who became jealous of the prophet and started claiming I'm a prophet, he became known as Musaylamah al kadhab He became known as a liar. He was... Musaylama, a person who was known as a terrible liar. What was his crime? His crime was he didn't accept what Allah chose. My brothers, my sisters, I want to tell you, you are chosen by Allah for something. Understand what that thing is. Understand your value. Allah places every one of us on a niche, on a place, on a position. Each one of you is chosen in a unique way. You have something others do not have. But it's your own uniqueness. If you haven't figured it out yet, think about it. What do I have that others don't have? Wallahi there is. Wallahi there is. Allah's blessed you in many ways. Some of them, others won't have them. 